to describe what I do. I don't. I really honestly don't. I feel like that that's why I'm a photographer is because I don't feel like I can describe what I feel or think when I look at a person in words. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And that's why I do it through photographs. So, you know, my perception of you is how I photograph you. My whole life growing up, I was told I was fat and lazy. When I was younger, I didn't feel beautiful. Um, I was overweight. I was always sick and in hospitals. Um, and my sister was really beautiful. She was the blonde model kind of type. Um, and I didn't. I couldn't figure out why I wasn't good enough for people to like me. Why I wasn't beautiful enough. So I started looking for it in everybody's faces. We didn't have any money, we didn't have anything, and um, when I was uh, 12, I went to live with my dad because my mom couldn't really take care of me anymore. My hospital bills were crazy. My sister had almost died from a very rare form of meningitis, and my mom was basically bankrupt, so she sent us to live with my dad. And just the, the tremendous amount of emotional abuse that um, my sister and I both went through, we both dealt with it kind of the same way, but just at different times in our life. Um, that probably caused me to rebel the most. Beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. I went through a lot living with my dad, and when I was um, 15, I ran away the first time, and then ran away again, and then the third time I ran away, he let me move back in with my mom. So I moved back in with my mom, and that's when I kind of really went crazy and got involved in a lot of drugs and a lot of partying and a lot of boyfriends and girlfriends and. But I was definitely um, a rebel. I had a lot of mental health issues. Um, I tried to kill myself three times um, from the time I was 13 to 18, 19. I think that if I wasn't able to create and have this as an outlet or a path, that I would have probably killed myself or, you know, I really, honestly, it's the truth. You know, I don't think I would have made it this far in my life. Um, without having that one thing that was mine and no one else's kind of thing, you know? Um, so it kind of like, the creativity and the art side of it saved me in a way. And it made me just kind of hold on. Like, you know, no matter how terrible things get, there's always beauty in that darkness. I've shot people inside of dumpsters and created beautiful portraits of them. So I just think that no matter how horrible my life ever got, like I could always create something beautiful out of it. So that's kind of the perspective that photography has given me for what I do. And I'm actually going to cry saying that because whew, that was pretty intense. That was so cool. Yeah.